All right, we'll take uh, questions for Drew Smith. Uh, Dave? Drew, you got to experience this game last year. Just um, what is it about this game? It's obviously going to be different with the different atmosphere this time around, but it seems to really bring out something in your teammates that have that obvious connection to to Illinois, even though Jeremiah said the other night it's just another game. It, I, I don't know if that's really true, though. What What is it about it that brings those, something out in those, those guys? Yeah, I think, I mean, it's something that you, you look forward to on the schedule and stuff. Obviously, like we always say, you got to take every team seriously, but it's something we look forward to in the offseason and stuff. But, yeah, I mean, like you said, they have those connections and everything. And so it's just – it's just a big game, and usually the fans, like you said, it'll be a little different. The fans make it a little more intense. But I think still, uh, at the end of the day, it is just another game, and it's another game that we have to go out there and execute and play good basketball. Yeah. Yeah, Drew, kind of going beyond just your game without fans, have you have you spent any time thinking about what campus would be like tomorrow with, with both those games and top ten teams in town if, if people – if it was a normal year? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm sure it would definitely be wild. That's not a, you probably wouldn't see me out there anywhere, but I'm sure, I'm sure they'd be having a good time for sure. Uh, Eric? Sure, I wanted to ask you about Illinois being the number six team in the country. For a team looking to prove itself, maybe on a, comp, <clears throat> I mean, a conference wide or national level, how much does the opportunity to play a number six team at home, you know, motivate you or other people on the team? Oh uh, yeah. I mean, I think we're just, we're excited to play Illinois in general and, the fact that they're ranked and that they're a good team this year, I think that uh, just adds a little bit to it. I mean, they're a good basketball team, and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do what we, I mean, do what we do and play play hard, play good defense, and things like that to be able to to come out with the W. Andy, yeah, Drew. Last time was a pretty solid performance uh, against these guys last year. I know their team's slightly different, but there are some of the same guys that that you remember facing. What defensively uh, are you maybe drawing from that last matchup uh, to bring to this one? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think obviously they have some new guys, and I'm sure they change they change a few things from year to year. But at the end of the day, it's mostly the same people, and um, everyone's gotten better. Everyone's playing good basketball. So I think just just taking what kind of what the game gives you and not forcing anything. I mean, I think we're sharing the ball well right now. As long as we continue to do that, I think we'll see good results. Uh, Colin. Hey, Drew, I was curious. Uh, I know it's still early in the season for you guys, so it's not a probably a huge concern yet, but just the three-point shooting for everyone other than Mark, just, do you think there's some commonalities there or, or what do you – do you can you attribute that to anything? Um, I mean, I think it's, it's early, like you said. Um, so it's tough guys still getting in rhythm. We're first time that we played in actual games in a long time. So I think, I think you'll see those kind of even out over the year, but yeah, just those first few game jitters, the nerves and just getting back out there and playing basketball, I think. But I think, like I said, we'll see those smooth out over the year. Dave, do you have another one? No. Okay. All right. Anything else for Drew? Thanks, Drew. Thanks, guys. Yeah, sorry about the uh, couple of the player switch-ups. We had some finals week next week, so we got some academic schedules moving around, tutoring and whatnot. So, Coach will be in here in just a second. 